Very cool. Um, so I also have a Patreon page attached to this where people know who I'm going to meet, and then they ask me questions to ask you. So I have a few okay. questions from random people around the world. Uh, one of oh. them, <laughs> uh, it's really cool that everybody, whoever wants to, to ask questions gets to. I love that. Um, the first question is, how do you tap faster? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the ages of these people either, so it could be from any age. Oh, hey, that's a good question, and this comes up often. You start with the exercises that you're given, or the rudiments that you're given in your classes. Um, so if it's a basic paddle and roll, right, uh, or paradiddle, dig, spank, toe, heel, dig, spank, toe, heel, you start by making sure your knees are lifted and they're coming off of the ground. Because if your knee, if you pick up your knees, your feet will follow. How do you pick up your knees? What is like the best way to describe that to a kid? Um, well, I can show it because, because I can show it and then also do it. Okay. And I'm sorry, I can show it and then say it too. So I would think of this, like I would think of like your knee, like imagine Pinocchio, mm -hmm. right? Love him, great. <laughs> and you have you have a string on your knee and the the puppet the puppeteer is lifting up your knee right like that and, and for those of you who are just listening his animation from his hand to his finger is amazing like someone hire this guy for a pantomime <laughs> <laughs> he's crushing it add like that to your resume thing. for an actor special skills kill it right but uh, finger puppeteer yeah amazing um, uh, so you have an upside down L shape that your leg is in front of you. Your legs do not go behind you. Your legs stay in front of you for an upside down L shape. Um, um, and that's what I mean by lifting up those knees. So when you do your shuffles, your shuffles wouldn't go um, out and then back, out and back. They go out and up, out and up. So brush and spank up, brush and spank up. So that's a part of, so that's just that, that, that sort of idea that I sort of talk about um, because a lot of people strike the floor down. They strike down, down, down when they don't think about going up or extending. That's how you can get the sound to be as, as efficient and as clear as possible. And, um, and then to go faster, you know, um, you have that in the back, you have that, you practice what we've talked about just now. And then you just keep going slow. Keep, get a metronome, an app or an actual metronome or a song that you like that has a steady, steady tempo. Dig, spank, toe, heel. Dig where it's clear. And just keep doing that for the entire song. That's what me and my best friend would do, right? We just would play a song, five minutes, seven minutes, Stevie Wonder song or disco song. We just play it over and over again and just do the same step for the entire and so the, then you can get faster. Big spank toe heel, big spank toe heel, big spank toe heel. Then take a rest, then get back to it, big spank toe heel. So repetition is what I'm saying, right? Big spank toe heel, big spank toe heel, big spank toe. And then keep doing it. But just always remember that you want to make sure your sounds are super clear. So it's not necessarily about going fast. It's about being clear and staying with the tempo. 